ride two on tape. At this point, I'm not going to be sharing any groundwork I do before my rides, and I'm going to be pretty much, you know, mounting. I don't need to do as much prep work. I kind of wean back on that as I start horses, but I do always start with flexion, which is what I'm doing here. On ride two, I start really incorporating my legs quite a bit more. We'll work on steering. It's still not great. There is an absolute difference in riding a colt versus riding a broke horse. There's, there's such a difference. There's a difference in the way you sit your horse. There's just a difference in the way you steer. You really have to think about, for lack of a better word, dumbing it down because your horse doesn't know. these first few rides, I'm not really worried about where we go and we'll get him out on the trail where he can follow a lead horse and just kind of start learning to get out and about and see the sights. But for right now, I really just want the impulsion. I want him to understand what my legs mean. I want to start incorporating some steering. Um, today we worked on, I started trotting him and stop and back up as well. So that's really, you know, like I said, starting to incorporate the legs. You'll see in my next video, I give him a lot of grace on this ride with stopping because he wants to kind of move. He doesn't want to really want to stand still. And like I said, I don't want to stop the impulsion. So I'm going to let some of that slide right now. There is, there is definitely a trick to giving a little bit of grace when you first start out and knowing when to do that and when not. In ride three, I start cracking down a little bit more with that. For sake of time, I'm just going to cut out some of the boring parts, in all honesty, because we do a lot of repetition. But here I'm going to ask him to trot, and I do do my legs, and I always kind of use vocal cues when I teach my horses. I find that that's helpful for starting a youngin. So he gave me, and all I want is just a few steps. I'm not gonna nag him on that, and I'm gonna reward that because that was a really good try. He did really well. I always prepare myself when I'm asking for that. Not, you never know what can happen when <laughs> sometimes. We're gonna work on a lot of the things that we touched on on our first ride, you know, yielding the hind, flexion, I mean, any and moving off a leg. I mean, everything that we did in the first ride, we're going to do that. And I just start, you know, it's kind of like laying the foundation of a house. You just kind of go brick by brick. And so I'll add in a few things. The main things that I added in this ride were, st were um, backing up and trotting. So right here, he does get a little frustrated because I'm asking him to yield behind and he's trying to figure it out. He's putting two and two together. And he really didn't yield the hind, so I'm going to keep asking. And I just, I let him figure it out. That's, that's all I have to do. I kind of thought maybe we might have a little wreck with this, but he did good. He thought about it. There he yields in there. I give him the release, and you can see he's licking and chewing. He figured it out. But that was really the only little hiccup that we had. And I really wouldn't call that much of a hiccup. I mean, it could have been a whole lot worse. He could have panicked, and he did not. He actually has a brain and he thinks things through. So I'm giving him a good bit of soak time here after that. So we'll pause and move on. So we're going to work on trotting a little bit. When I do these first few rides, I keep them short and sweet. He's still a baby. He still has baby brain and I don't want to overload. I see a lot of people that really work colts pretty heavy when they start them. And I have all the time in the world. This is my personal horse. I'm not in a hurry. I don't like to get in a hurry because then I feel like steps get missed. I would rather put the time in and take my time to do it right. When I'm starting horses and I'm starting on the trot, I don't post. I want them to feel me in the saddle. We've already worked with adding weight to the saddle. I'm going to ask him to stop. You see he, there, that was a much better stop than what he did give previously. He, he just has to figure it out. And I've kind of been rotating between the halter and the bridle. Like I said, this was in a halter just because, you know, I had the time. He's a little itchy. He's shedding. He really likes his neck scratch. So he really did that. He 
quite, <laughs> gets into it quite a bit. Um, when you scratch his neck, he really likes that. So I try to make sure I'm asking him to back here. He's doing really well with it. And he's very itchy. We're going to yield the hind there. Perfect. And I'm starting to have him move out. He's doing really well. Most colts get pretty sticky on moving out. And I have to say, he's not been that way. He's not had problem with just getting up and going. He is a little lazy getting him into a trot. And we've not cantered yet. That will, you know, be it for on down the road. Because we got to get things solid before we really move on to a lot of steps. So right here, I'm going to check in on that backup. He does really well. Honestly, this was almost a broke horse backup. He did this mostly off my seat. Now, he didn't keep it totally straight. But again, he's just learning this. So we're going to call that good for this ride. Stay tuned for the next one.